Hi, following my Debug Probe video, one of my viewers asked if I'd show how I solder up the pins on the Pico and Pico W. They could only use the Pico H and Pico WH on breadboards, those boards with pre-soldered headers. I'm happy to show how I solder, and I hope you'll find this video useful. I'm not an expert at soldering, but I do know a few tricks for making soldering up the Pico headers, pins, and SWD single wire debug port straightforward. I will also recommend some further guides on soldering later in the video. The sponsor for this video is PCBWay. PCBWay are a friendly manufacturer of PCBs to designs by people like you and me. I'll talk a little more about them later in the video because good quality PCBs make it easier to solder in my view. We're going to need a Raspberry Pi Pico and some header pins for the soldering. You'll need two strips of 20 straight male header pins for the GPIO pins either side of the Pico. For the SWD port, you can either use a strip of three straight header pins or 90 degree header pins. I tend to use 90 degree ones for the SWD port on a Pico, though these don't fit nicely on the Pico W, so use straight ones on the Pico W. My SWD header pins are going to point out the back of the Pico, as in the photo here. That's my choice. This is your Pico. If you want them to go the other way around, that's up to you. You could put them under the Pico too, though that makes it hard to access. Really how you connect them up is up to you and what fits on your project. Generally, I think this configuration makes sense for breadboard work. You need some tools as well to do the soldering. Obviously a soldering iron, some solder, a breadboard, and a helping hand clamp would be useful if you're using the 90 degree header pins for SWD like me. Solder fumes are harmful and therefore I recommend using some extraction, at the very least a well ventilated room. You don't need a huge amount of space for Pico projects and soldering. I don't have much space so I start by converting my desk to be my soldering station. I'm right next to a window so I'm using an extractor fan normally used for dust to pull the solder fumes out of my window. I recommend you start by soldering the SWD single wire debug port. On a Pico H, the Pico with the pre-soldered connectors, this is a JST SH socket. As you can see here, there is no way you can attach a JST SH socket to a Pico. The Pico H has a very different layout to enable a surface mount JST SH socket to be used. Instead, we'll put in header pins. The SWD port is these three pins at the back of the Pico. The easiest way to populate this is using straight header pins. Place these pins large side down into the breadboard, then balance the Pico on top of them, face down. You can then easily solder them into place. Actually, I'm not going to use these straight pins, but use 90 degree pins instead. So I will solder these onto the top of the Pico so that they face out the back of the Pico. To do this I'm going to need to use my helping hands to clamp my Pico. With the Pico clamped in place I'm going to hold the header pins in place then solder the first pin just enough to tack it into place.
Then let's check to see if it's level and the header is comfortably in place. Amazingly, I've got it in a good position first time on camera. So now I can solder the other two pens. Then go back and resolder the first one properly. Fairly simple to do, but does need the helping hands in my view. Soldering the GPIO pins on either side of the Pico is actually much easier than the 90 degree SWD port. So place these pins into the breadboard first, one side, and then we'll work out which track to use for the other side. Mine seem to be a little tight here, so a touch of pulling. Right, with both strips nicely pushed into the breadboard, we can put the Pico on top. checking that all of the pins have come through and everything is properly lined up and square. We can now begin by soldering each of the pins in place. As with all soldering, the trick here is really to heat both the pin and the board, then apply the solder. I'm making this look quite hard, partly due to the extra stress of doing this on camera, and also because I have a camera in the way, which is making it difficult to see what I'm actually doing. I'm checking each soldering pin has enough solder and not too much as I go. That I have not caused any shorts as I go or two. You can see the solder fumes being pulled off by my extraction fan. Once I've done all of the joints, I will look them all over and check that it all looks good, shiny and neat. I use a small screwdriver to help me gently pry the device off the breadboard, lifting each side a little at a time to avoid bending any of the pins. We can now use the SWD port on the Pico to flash or debug our Pico using either a Raspberry Pi, a Pico with Pico probe or the debug probe to provide the interface to SWD. Soldering up the Pico with headers for the GPIO and SWD ports is quite straightforward. Getting comfortable soldering up the Pico will enable you to choose your own Pico and how it's soldered and how it will fit into your projects and your cases for your projects. The first step to building your own custom project boards. In my experience, well-designed PCBs are the easiest thing to solder. I've done projects where I have moved from breadboard to soldering things up on a prototype board. This is quite hard for anything other than the simplest projects. 
So my recommendation really is to learn to design and get built your own PCBs. That's where the video sponsor PCB Way comes in. They can take your PCB design and get them fabricated with all the soldering screen to make soldering a doddle. Certainly, what I have done with my projects for the Sabre wall light to turntable controller, etc. So go check out PCB Way. I hope you found the video was useful and I've shown that even someone as clumsy as me can solder up the header pins on the Pico. If you want to learn more about soldering, both through hole and surface mount components, then I recommend my fellow Udemy tutors course, Learning Soldering Through Hole and Surface Mount Components. I'll put a link in the description. If you're only just getting started with the Pico, then also check out my introductional course to C and C++ tool chains on Udemy. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and turn on notification bell for new videos from me.